Hey guys! So the other night I was watching Netflix, um, the movie Julie and Julia, and there's a scene where Julie is tired from work and she's making tomato basil bruschetta. And it looked so good in that scene when she was cooking it and you could hear the sizzle of the bread and just the tomatoes looked so yummy and um, her husband was eating it and it just looked so good I got hungry. So I decided to look up the recipe and try to make it myself. So here we go. So in a medium bowl, you're going to combine diced tomatoes, okay? So that's two cups of diced tomatoes. You're gonna throw in some chopped basil, fresh basil. You're gonna throw in some Parmesan, balsamic vinegar, pour it over. Olive oil. And then this is um, a pinch of salt and pepper. Okay, you're gonna combine it. You can use a spatula to just combine all those ingredients together. Give it a good mix to coat all of the tomatoes. And then you're gonna sit, <laughs> let it sit for 10 minutes so the tomatoes will marinate in all that yummy flavor. Okay, so 10 minutes. All right, so if you have a brush, you can brush um, both sides of the sliced baguette with olive oil. I don't have a brush, I actually cannot find it. So what I did was drizzle about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil, and I'm gonna lightly just dip the bread on each side, or you could just whoop, whoop, like that wipe it off the plate. Anybody could do that because, you know, um, people have plates. You just drop a little more oil and uh, do it again with the next slice of bread. I'd, like dip it lightly uh, or heavily. <laughs> then you take a clove of garlic and you just rub it on the bread for that garlic flavor. Put it on the other side and rub that clove of garlic as well, see? Just like that, and you're gonna do it to all slices of bread, okay? If I had time, I would just make roasted garlic oil, and that's basically boiling 30 to 40 cloves of garlic in oil, like simmering it, but I'll, I'll show you guys that in another vi video, but that would just really infuse the flavor of garlic in the olive oil, and that just brings the flavor to another level but I'll just have to show you that some other time. All right, so I threw in about a tablespoon of olive oil in the pan to coat, and we're gonna go ahead and brown. Put the bread down in the pan and let it brown about three minutes on each side. So I'm just gonna wait to flip that about three to four minutes. We are flipping the baguettes. Okay, see it's nice and toasted. And when they're nice and hot, just sprinkle a little bit of salt on the tops of the bread. Just a pinch each. I have tiny fingers, so my pinches are tiny. <laughs> About a teaspoonful of the bruschetta, the tomato mixture, and place it on top of the bread. It smells so good. The basil smells so good. The mixture of the fresh tomato and the herb and the cheese with the olive oil and that balsamic the balsamic that would give it that uh, tanginess my grandmother owned a restaurant and she used to feed a bunch of like truckers and men who would be traveling and working hard throughout the day and she like served and fed them she loved to feed people I think that's where my mom got it and I think that's where I got it too. It's a, an expression of love and care for people. So that's why I like feeding all my friends and family and people that I care about. This is the bruschetta from the movie Julie and Julia. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. That is so tasty. You can even taste the garlic in the bread. 
It's crunchy. Oh, so good. I gotta eat the rest of this thing. Guys, try this at home. If you love bruschetta, you're gonna love this recipe. We'll see you next time. There, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I like to whisper when I get excited about food.